Today, we'll look at how to specify a website for the Website Template Project. This is a project by Open Social Resources to help small businesses create professional websites. The process is designed to be simple, non-technical, and affordable. Check out the project website in the description for more info. We're going to spec out a website for a pretend restaurant called Spoon in Hand. We'll focus on the spec itself. We won't go into detail about writing content or creating images. We have a nice little spec guide to help get you started. Go to the Website Template Project website. The link is in the description. Go to the Getting Started tab, and then click the link to the spec form. There are a couple things to note on the first page. First, there are instructions on how to send us the spec. In this video, we're just going to send an email to contact at opensocialresources.com. Second, there are some business matters you should take care of before you start. Having an organizing document and a mission statement can be very helpful. You'll also want to know who your audience is and how you want them to see your business. That'll help you figure out what you want on your website and how to present it. Knowing your brand will also help you create a logo. The business info section is pretty straightforward. You'll need your business name, a description, and so forth. Keywords aren't often used by search engines anymore. People abuse them until they were useless. But keywords can help you figure out what else to put in your site. Google will find that info in your site and then use it to help clients find your business. Once we start creating tab content, keep an eye on how I use keywords inside the content. A domain name is how we talk about websites, like spoonandhand.com. It's really easy to get a domain with Google Domains or another service. Once we create your website, we can help you hook it up to your domain. If you're selling products online, it'll cost money to make your website available to clients. But if you're not selling anything online, you probably qualify for free hosting. We'll see if you qualify in the consultation before you send us the spec. Spoon in Hand isn't selling anything online, so we'll just go with free hosting. For the business presentation section, you'll want to have your logo and cover image ready to go. There are some hints about how to do that at the top of the page. Creating these images can be a lot of work, even a hurdle for some businesses. If you get stuck, contact us and we'll help you move forward. It's often worth it to hire us or other professionals for your graphics. You'll also want to choose a primary theme color. This color is used for things like links, tables, and buttons on your website. Click the link at the top of the page to see some color options. We want a bluish color for Spoon in Hand, so click the blue colors link. Deep Sky Blue looks good. You could just type in Deep Sky Blue as it appears here for the spec, but for good measure, I'll copy the whole row and paste that in our spec email. Last but not least, we have to figure out what tabs we want. For tabs, less is more. Shoot for between two and five tabs. There are some suggestions in the spec guide for tabs to help you get started. But for Spoon in Hand, we really only need two tabs. We want an About Us tab and a Menu tab. To keep the formatting simple, we'll use indents to tell what goes under what tab in our email. We want customers to land on the About Us tab. As a restaurant, we want our phone number, hours, and location to be very easy to find, so we'll put them in this tab. For location, we can include an interactive map. We'll do that for Spoon in Hand to make it easy for customers to find our restaurant. On the Menu tab, we want to showcase our menu items with pictures, prices, and descriptions. The Website Template Project has a handy tool for creating things like restaurant menus. Go to the Toolbox link, then scroll down to Display List with Images. There are a couple of images showing us how it'll look on desktop and on mobile. If you scroll further, you'll see a sample of the info that we need to provide. Each menu item requires a name, price, description, and an image. We'll create two separate menus, one for appetizers and one for entrees. We'll use an outline format to specify each set of items. To wrap up, don't forget to attach your images, and remember to double check your spec. For example, I forgot to include that we want customers to start on the About Us tab. Let's check out the finished product. We can see all the info specified about the business. Everything we wanted is right there on the About Us tab, where it's easy for customers to find. We have a nice little interactive map. It even has a directions button. If we go to the Menu tab, we can see all of our items. But because of the way we have our window kind of squished on the left, we get a format closer to mobile. 
Let's maximize the window to see how it really looks on desktop. There we go. Oh man, I really want one of those Cuban sandwiches right now. Well, thank you for watching. Check out the description for a link to the website template project. I'm going to sign off and make a Cuban.